What up, everybody? It's the one and only Champagne Poppy. I'm back, bringing you another episode of Hyrule Warriors. Last time, we went and began to see us tell at the Cave of Dragons. And we basically went and made, um, Volga our slave for Sia. In today's episode, we're basically telling, having the reverse events of the Army of Ruins, basically. We're going to play as the bad guys this time, taking over, um, Hyrule, basically. So let's dive into it. And it doesn't really matter what character you choose, basically. Either way, you'll be playing as both the characters. You can swap off to them. So we're just going to start things off with Wizrobe, I guess. Um, hmm. Ooh, XP for sure. Let's use that one. Let's dive into it. With Volga and Wizro at the head of her army, Sia launched her invasion of Hyrule. En route, Wizro offered some advice. He said their first priority should be the eradication of Hyrule's fairies. The good-hearted fairies of Hyrule were known to provide aid and comfort to their chosen warriors. Should the legendary hero appear and receive their assistance, Sia and her forces might be hard-pressed. Sia considered Wizro's counsel and commanded her troops to begin hunting fairies. Many fairies were captured throughout Hyrule, but a few eluded her grasp. Unbeknownst to Sia, the mysterious young woman was working with the Gorons to protect the fairies. Rather than delay her invasion further, Sia dispatched Volga and Wizra to capture the last stragglers. Well, we're back at Hyrule Fields and I hear lightning in the dis lightning or thunder outside. Oh my gosh, you don't even know guys. It's been storming for the, like the last three days and this is the third day it's going to storm. It's been raining off and on. Real quick, go to the command menu. Go to Volga and make him catch her the field east keep. There we go. Nice and easy. All right, let's go catch her this keeps over here. But like I was saying, like all these storms keep happening lately. I don't know why. God just wants to play bowling. Him and Jesus are playing bowling up there in heaven or something. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, it just keeps storming here in Kentucky. This is storming where y'all are. But on the topic of storms, at... Um, I saw parts of this movie uh, at church because we're having to add a movie um, sermon in our church, and um, it was about hurricane. It was about the movie called The Impossible, and basically the movie's about is a true story about these people who survived Hurricane Katrina. They were all it was a family of five, and they were at a beach, or no, not at a beach. They were they were on vacation near a beach. So they were all there having a good time. It was December 20. It was like a Christmas um, vacation, basically, for them. They go out there and celebrate um, Christmas at um, on vacation, basically. A little special treat for their kids and stuff, and for the parents to chillax, relax, have some, you know, alone time with each other out there on that um, in the hotel, because you know, spice things up. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> So Hurricane Katrina comes in and everybody's like doing their own thing, swimming in the pool, and the thing comes and the family basically gets separated into two KOK groups. You got um, Team Dad and his two youngest kids, and you got Team Mom and her oldest son. The, it was a, it's a, not a movie for everybody because it will make you tear up, I will guarantee you that. It's very emotionally strong uh, movie for sure. Like it's, for if you're a young viewer, or if you're a parent being like, oh, should I show this to my kids? If they understand, like, um, adult themes, I would recommend it. But if they don't, uh, I highly recommend staying clear from that movie. Like, even the church is all like, hey, um, small kids um, should not be here. Um, but parental warning is advised. So, you know, that means things were going to get serious. But it, it looks really good. I would, I would watch the whole thing. It looks like a good movie I would enjoy to watch. Even though it will be pulling on my heartstrings, the scenes they did show, they were heartstring and um, pull on your heartstrings for the shores. All right, Lana, baby girl, Starbucks girl, waifu, my wife, everybody shits me with. Come on, ow, ow, ow! Don't beat me. Okay, there we go. All right, now you're screwed, baby girl. Boom, baby. K, okay, okay, bye. All right, we almost got you. K, okay, okay, defeat it here. Let's breathe fire on you to make you even hotter. Like, uh, so the move, the only problem I had with the movie was the oldest son. I don't know why there's one part where it was him and his mom. It's not a big spoiler, but it was him and his mom, and they were there, and they hear a P 
people crying out for help. And the little boy's like, I want to help him because I'm a douchebag little cunt face. But he changes. Um, I suppose he changes. Or he just becomes a douchebag cunt face. But he's all like that. His mom is all like... Like, he's yelling at her and acting like the adult in the situation there. And I'm like, what the crap? Like, you're an adult lady. You should tell him what to do. You are his mother. Now, yell at him and then beat the living crap out of him and tell him, hey, you ain't going to talk to me like that and you're going to help me save the people because I'm hurt here. But at the end, she's she goes out and helps those um, people out who were hurt and they were fine. They saved them all, which was good. But, um... Uh, I didn't, that scene rubbed me the wrong way. It just made me feel like the son was a cunt. And then, like, and later in the movie, like, he does a complete 360, it feels like. Like, right after that happens, and he's still not reluctant to help um, out the people. He just does, a, like, a 360, and then he's like, I like helping people. And you got a piece of heart. Need four more to get a heart. There we go. We got that. So let's command Volga to okay, okay, come, um, help out the squad up there. Let's help out Sia. While I switch the whiz robe and capture this keep real fast, because he's good at clearing out enemies with like that attack in general. It's probably my favorite move of his, where he just twirls around and he just kills them up. Alright, do I have the laser beam attack with the whiz robe? No, I don't. Alright. Oh, that's one of his attacks too with the hand. Yep, he goes and grabs the enemy and enemies and stuff. Alright, we're Gucci now. Sweet. Let's go um, start taking over this keeps over there while Voga rushes over to help Sia out. Oh, I probably need to help Sia myself, so let's KOK okay, okay, do that. I'll recommand Voga to um, take over the keep here. That would be a smart idea for sure. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Come on, Wizard, keep going. But in that, it's a really, really good movie. And it's based off a true story. Don't forget that. Like, people are going to be like, I don't know if, like, the whole movie is all, like, fact, base by base, true and realistic. But, um, I guess somebody tell me in the comments below if it, it's very, very, um, accurate or they just did the Hollywood fluff to it. Where they make things a little more dramatic than it actually is. Alright, guys, stop messing with Sia here. Because, um, I want to beat the mission. Nice and easy. Lee, for sure. There we go. I'm killing up all the enemies around here. And, ooh, weak point gauge, baby. Eat the laser! Fire me my laser! And I had their, that jerk. I haven't heard that joke in a freaking long time. As a Odo joke, when I was in like second, third grade, that was like a big thing because the flip notes was very popular then, and YouTube poops. And now YouTube poops aren't really that popular in 2018. And let's go get that gold sculpture real quick before it leaves me and I cry. All right, Wizro, come on, man, float a little faster. Come on, come on, Wizro, go. But I probably, I really need to get a fire stick. My friend has one. He let me borrow it for a time. And man, that thing is freaking awesome. Like, you can you, watch just about any movie you possibly ever want to watch. And I'm like, I'm down. All you gotta do is hook it up to the internet, and you're Gucci. So I'm prob probably gonna do, probably get me one of those someday. Because I do not have Netflix. Yeah, your boy here doesn't have Netflix. Um, don't give me a hard time about that. Please don't give me a hard time about not having a Netflix. But whatever, you know. It doesn't really matter if I have Netflix or not. And there we go. It is storming. Hopefully it doesn't shut the power off. Because it did that for like a minute or two. And then the power came back on shortly after that. And I went through record that night. But I'm like crap. I can't record. Like I already had. Today I was recording Bioshock 2. And I believe it's episode 15. So this was recorded on the same day. Episode 15 came out. Basic, uh, was recorded. But basically. Um, gosh dig it on my xbox like something happened and then my game froze and i'm like crap my xbox one froze and i don't know if it's because it overheated or what but you know it's whatever all right let's just keep um killing up these enemies here come on come on out zelda come at me 
Oh, there we go. Weak point gauge, and you're screwed, man. K-O-K, -okay, bye. There we go. That's one way to take out the troops. For sure. Alright, Zelda. Come on out so I can beat you and win this mission. Yep, I have defeated the Hylian captain. For sure. Alright. Let's go. There we go. Now Impa comes out and we just gotta beat her. Alright. There we go. Let's um, capture this um, outpost here to make our army even easier and stronger. And let's... We gotta fight Impa. Why am I fighting the Goron here? Alright, Impa, Impa, Impa. There we go, Impa. Just the person I was looking for. I was gonna say the man I was looking for, but... I'm like, nah, people get offended and be like, oh, you're stupid, Impa's a girl, stupid head. And I'm like, I know that, I know Impa's a girl. She looks like a man in Ocarina of Time. But she still has manly-ish um, figure to her, basically. That's what I am trying to say. Well, I'm acting so weird and being, a explaining things so awkwardly and weird and out of character. I don't even know. There we go. And you're screwed, Impa. Hey, okay, bye. Alright, anything else you want to do, Impa? Anything, anything, anything? Anything else you got up your sleeve? I'm going to kill this Goron right there. You know, I know my um, baby girl, Lana, my wife, everybody, everybody's like, oh, you're going to have marry that. I'm like, oh, I don't even know, man. That's a little strange. But you know what? It's whatever. There we go. Um, Impa's defeated. Sweet Swizzly Dang. And we just got these enemies to kill, and I am good. Alright, the assault troops. Oh crap, I did not I did not do that combo right, but we get the cool looking dragon combo. Vogue is one of my favorite characters to play. Probably my favorite fire element um, weapon character thing in the game, basically. Is what I am saying, but screw you, man. Get wrecked. Alright, there's one more of you out th here. Alright, there we go. Slice and dice, and you're okay, okay defeated. All right, we got one more assault troop to take out, and we're going to use Wiz Robe to do this. All right, where is he? There's a little assault troop. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There you go. You're screwed, man. You are screwed, because Wiz Robe can just juggle you all around, man. You're like a ball to him, or um, bowling pins, or gosh diggy darn, um, sacks and stuff. All right, side mission successful. All right. Sweet. We defend the ally base. And now all we have to do is fight Zelda. Alright, Zelda. You baby girl. You square up. Ow. That hurt. There we go. Keep slashing. I got my... I will not see this. I will. But when Hyrule is destroyed. Well, you better get used to it. I skipped your um, animation cutscene. Sorry, guys. I did that. Alright. There we go. Ouch. Okay, come on. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no, no. Gosh darn, I did it wrong. I did that too early. Come on. Screw that Hylian captain by, by here. He's getting really freaking annoying. There we go. Alright. We destroyed that weak point gauge. Massive damage. That wasn't as massive as I would like it to be. Alright. We're just going to have to keep wailing on her, basically. She should, she's easily, um, opens her weak point gauge, to my knowledge. I haven't played Hyrule Warriors in a while, but I did do a practice run and warmed up before this, though. Boom, baby. Okay, okay, bye. I remember these missions being a lot faster on my playthrough, on, uh, my practice playthrough. Probably because I'm playing on my personal file. <laughs> All my characters are, like, level 60 right now. I haven't, I got burnt out on, um, the Hyrule thing for a while. And plus, I didn't have the time. Because, you know, um, tr cross country started back up. And then Hyrule Warrior is very repetitious. I always take like a small little break and then I always come back to it. There we go. Alright, Zelda. You're screwed now. There we go. Sweet. We won, guys, as Volga. That knight is different from, than any other. We'll have to deal with him carefully. Well, he's freaking a dragon. Humanoid. Dang. I don't know what Vogue is. He's like a Corrin. I guess. Female Corrin is the best. She is waifu. The male one's stupid. Screw him. That's why in Warriors they use the female Corrin instead. Which I am gladly happy with. Which they did with that did that with Smash 2. But you know, beggars can't be chooser in the sky outside. It just looks great now. Well crap, a storm's a brewing, I guess. All of our army, anyone who holds a weapon, rally it on my position. 
All right, looks like um, the High Rule Army is getting KOK okay, okay, ready to send out. Gosh, do you darn Link into action? Well, I guess this is what caused him to meet Proxy. I'm Boga. Dragon style. And he is based on Volvagia off Ocarina of Time from Fat for y'all who don't know. Okay, okay, bye, Volga. Well, we did. It only took 10 minutes to beat this mission, and we got all this goodies here. Well, sweet. That didn't went too bad. Maybe it's because our characters are very weak, and they don't have the best, strongest weapon they could possibly have. And did you hear that outside? I heard a BOOM sound outside, but next time on Hyrule Warriors, we're gonna take care of, we're gonna go take over the Palace of Twilight in the next episode. So, KOK by Minna, and KOK by Zant. We're gonna wreck both of them. So, thank y'all so much for watching today's episode, and peace out, Girl Scouts, and bye.